Hi everyone, we're at Sea Airspace 2024 and we're now on the Ghost Work GD34 on the Potomac River. I am meeting with uh, Admiral Kenny, Senior Vice President at Ultra Maritime, and Patrick Coughlin, uh, Director of Operations at Ghost Works Marine. Gentlemen, good morning. Good morning, Xavier. Hey, good morning, Xavier. It's a pleasure to be here on, uh, on one of your uh, boats, uh, Patrick. So uh, I'm sure you have some very important news to share with us today. But uh, first, can you please uh, introduce your respective companies and uh, tell us about uh, how your collaborations uh, came to fruition? Surely, Xavier. Uh, appreciate this opportunity uh, to work with Works. Background on Ultra Maritime. We're an uh, international business based in the U.S., manufacturing in the U.S., Canada, Australia, and the U.K. We have 2,200 employees. Our nearly singular focus is on undersea warfare. We provide, as you can see, the, uh, the global supplier of sonar buoys. We're the only provider that's qualified and certified uh, by the U.S. Navy uh, through, through their testing. Uh, we provide tow arrays, hall-mounted sensors, countermeasures, uh, as well as torpedo heads, radar, and EW systems. What we're here today to talk about is the ASW mission pod. Modular, optionally manned, affordable, network distributed ASW to address the needs of our world's navies. Patrick, what can you tell us about Ghostworks? Yeah, so Ghostworks is a Holland, Michigan based shipyard. Um, we're just new, new to the defense industry. We've, most of our history has actually come out of uh, the recreation and commercial space. What we're looking at in our crewed ships is to have operator centric designs. So building hulls that are looking at the actual operator, making sure that when our boats move through the water, they're not damaging the operator. Our boats use an air encapsulation method that allows them to rise out of the water, which creates significant reduction in drag and allows us to achieve high speeds. But it also removes up to 60% of wave slap impact and slamming. So at CR Space this year, you're announcing a collaboration. Can you tell us more? Uh, yes, what, what we've, uh agreed to is to work together to develop concepts for uh, allied navies, U.S. navies, to develop ASW capability, whether that's on Ghostworks uh, or other platforms of interest. Uh, where we see Ghostworks, they have the hull space, the deck space, the capacity, the fuel, uh, the endurance in their M90, their 90-foot version of this craft, to host the ASW mission pod. We're looking to work together and actually to host Ultra's systems on a large portfolio of our vessels. So as the Admiral mentioned, the M90 is designed to be a multi-modular mission capable platform. The M90 has the capability of going over 50 knots. It can carry multiple systems as well as not just these type of inbox systems, but also uncrewed systems. Uh, so we're looking to partner again to incorporate Ultra Maritime's various sensors and sonar buoy data ingestion systems onto not only our small boats, but our future USV models, which they themselves can be launched from the M90 uh, to create a wide range of ASW support vessels. Uh, Admiral, what's next uh, regarding that collaboration? Well, for us, is to continue the development uh, and design of the ASW mission pod. As you can see, uh, it is a, uh, a winch uh, with a level wind that allows different types of arrays to be interoperable, swapped, so it really is uh, array agnostic. So we can put any of our arrays, the priority is ASW, but also torpedo defense, which we provide to, to many of the, uh, the U.S. Navy and many of our allies. That in a 20-foot uh, ISO container will also contain uh, receivers and the ability uh, to take that information, receive it, process it, and provide uh, detect, track, localized uh, capability for the warfighter. Uh, so for us, it's the community development, obviously uh, in, in collaboration, coordination with Ghostworks and, and, other, and other providers to deliver this to the fleet. What's key to this is the modular interoperability, which allows transfer from deck to deck. So even if a Navy uh, buys a number of, of Ghostworks or other platforms, they can swap these payloads out. On our smaller boats, we're looking to not only integrate the ability to launch the sonar buoys, but the ability to receive and process the data. These are the two types of sonar buoys that the world uses uh, for ASW operations. We, we're the only builder of what is called the G size, the half size, which is ideal for a potential USV integration. It is, it, these have been launched off of MQ-9 uh, with General Atomics and the U.S. Navy. 
So we've already got uh, the capability to launch some aircraft. Uh, additionally, surface ship uh, have launched sonar buoys as well, the larger combatants. Integrating it onto USV uh, it would be our next challenge. But the concept that uh, Ghostworks and Ultra Maritime Envision is to have networked ASW, uh, broad, wide area search capabilities, augmenting manned platforms, unmanned aerial platforms, and the, the concept of a M90 with a mothership. Uh, we think there's a lot of traction and demand for that by all Allied navies to bring capability uh, rapidly to the warfighter. Patrick, is there anything else you would like to share? Yes, just that we're very excited to continue this partnership and look to expand the number of capabilities and systems that we can offer our customers that are integrated upon our whole portfolio of vessels. Uh, we think this provides not only a, an extreme value to the warfighter and the end user customer in the ability to have these ships out to sea doing more missions more often, but also extreme value to the taxpayer and making sure that what they're buying is going to do what it says it's going to do. It's not going to injure the people that are using it in harm's way, um, but it's also going to be a, a real value to them. All right, gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much.